That's pretty fun. So I'm going to make this a stereo track. And I'll go ahead and open this up a little bit that way and that way. And I can see these reversed bits lining up here. And as you heard, the, uh, it gives a real nice sound on the uh, kick drum here. Now, the kick drum, if I go to this point here, I see that they're not perfectly aligned. So what I might do is I might decide that I want to line up this region at this kick drum. So over here in my sample edit window, I'm going to go ahead and time this to right there. And you'll see that it changed in the arrange window as well. But now I can line that up right on the beat. Boom. And now I know that this kick is really going to go, it's going to give what's called a pre-lap. It's going to go whoom, like that. Sweet. So now what I might want to do is go into my arrange window here and I'm going to get a, pen, a uh, scissor tool and I'm going to cut this up into equal lengths and I'm only going to have certain bits of it reverse. So I'll hold down my option key and I'm going to cut right there. <laughs> Nothing happened. Okay, let's try that again. I'm going to cut right uh, here. Uh, still nothing happened. What if I cut here? Oh, look at that. It worked. So if you're going to do a multiple divide, you have to divide it after the anchor point. Okay? So check this out. I'll take my anchor point back off. I'm going to go and I'm going to pull the anchor point all the way to the left side of the region. And I'll reline this back up. If I grab my scissor tool now, and I cut this into equal regions. Okay, see it says divide multiple because I'm holding down the option key. And now I'm going to pick and choose what's going to reverse and what isn't. So first maybe I'll just take this stuff. Now I was hitting M for mute, so. Pretty cool. Now, the other thing I like to do with the sample edit window is I'm going to take this little snare right here. And I'm going to edit it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to create a new audio file out of it, right? That way I can do whatever my heart desires to it and feel confident that it's not going to screw up this original audio file. See, it's still there. Whereas on this one, I can't pull it out because this is one audio file all by itself. All right, so I'm going to do what I like to call the matrix effect. I'll do it in the end. Okay, so here's this audio file, right? And it's also sitting up here in the arrange window. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use the time and pitch machine. It's under factory. The time and pitch machine allows you to adjust time and pitch. You can do time independent of pitch and pitch independent of time, which is pretty slick. Um, so in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to pick the very front part of the transient and I'm going to say tempo change to 30 BPM from 120 to 30. Pretty radical, right? Okay, so process and paste. What that did is it stretched it out pretty, <laughs> it's pretty extreme, right? And this starts to sound really crazy once it gets stretched out over and over again. Mm 
Remember that bit in the Matrix when uh, Neo's got the stuff going down his throat? Yeah, well, this is kind of part of how they did it. Anyway, I'm going to get back in here. And as you see, this is just obscenely long. The snare drum has become obscenely long. So, um, go ahead and have a listen here. And I'll go ahead and cut the rest of the drum beat until that next kick comes in. That'll be kind of interesting. <laughs> Maybe we'll have it uh, go out with the, the big whoomp. And uh, I could also normalize the file or change the gain of it. Functions, normalize. It'll take some of the detail. You'll be able to hear more detail in that snare. So anyway, that's kind of fun. Had a little bit of weirdness at the beginning of this transient, but you get the idea. So the most important thing about what we're learning today is that audio regions and audio files are two separate things. The audio file is the thing that's actually sitting on your drive physically. The audio region in the arrange window is pointing to that audio file. Okay, so there you go.